We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be looking at the, the Basic Mech by Kaiser Mods. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, this is a mechanical mech mod. It's a 304 stainless steel. We've got brass contacts, stainless steel, silver plated spring inside it. You get an 18650 tube and you also get an 18350 tube. I think it's about 109 euros. I'll cover all everything in the close-ups and the summary at the end. Here we go. I just double checked and yes, it's 109 euros uh, and they are based in France. Uh, so opening this up, we have a little authenticity card here. That's all signed by hand. Take that away and we do have a manual. It is nice seeing a manual for a mech mod. Uh, it does cover the basics. We have a breakdown of the device. It does warn you about battery wraps uh, and amp ratings for batteries as well. Uh, it gives you some basic advice on that. The only thing it doesn't tell you is the direction for the battery, but I've been putting mine in positive up. Inside the box, 1860 tube, switch, hybrid top cap, and an 18350 tube. You can also purchase these little guys here. Uh, these are about 18, 19 euros each. These are optional extras, and these are your threaded locking rings. As standard, it comes with the stainless steel silver version. Now this is a 22mm mech and 18650 wise you're looking about 78mm in length. The 18350 is about 48mm in length. So the top cap once again is hybrid. Uh, make sure that the positive pin on your atty sticks out. Uh, we do have this going on here. The only thing that I would like to have seen uh, is like uh, a little insulator. You do see it on a lot of make mods now. You know, if your battery is going positive up, just round this bit here. Just yeah, just a sticky pad on there. Uh, for me, I think it would just it's such a simple thing to do. Uh, just putting that on. I have no issues with the threading. Threading's spot on. It really is. Uh, you can see. Look at that. Thread, threading is fantastic on this. It's not reverse threaded, this locking ring. We do have the company logo going on there. Uh, this has got more of a, a satin finish on here and polished here. Uh, obviously, you could just unscrew that all together and put one of the other rings on if you wanted. But I'll leave that on there just now. Uh, we do have, oops, a spare spring. Once again, stainless steel, silver plated, uh, and we have a spring inside this switch here. This is how the switch works. Just pushes up and down like that. Uh, I can, if I push this down, I can get my fingers in there, and I can unscrew this, which I will do now. If you can't get it started, just pushing the Delrin piece because this is an insulator here. Now you can push that down. Just a little flathead screwdriver, get it in there and just give it a little nudge and that kicks it off and it will start moving. And then you can start doing the rest, just spinning it by finger. Come to daddy, get you out of there. There we go. See, we've got a little brass piece there. Obviously you'll want to keep this polished. Uh, and if I let this go, that'll come off and you see we've got a spring in there. Uh, now, the way this works, you can see that that sits in there and just pushes up and down. Now, the only thing about this switch is that um, it's one of these switches that only really works if you apply pressure slap bang in the middle. Uh, if you push anywhere outside of there, then you'll either get like a clicky feeling from the switch or it just will not fire. So you really, every time you want to push slap bang on the bottom. You'll also see in the bottom we have basic mech and it's got Kaiser Original there as well. And that is a serial number right there. So I'm going to take one atty and uh, yes, this is a blatant advert here. This is the HAR RTA that um, somebody in a shed is involved with. Battery, positive up. And then I'm going to take the button and then just start screwing that in. And if you've been using a mech at any point over the years, you know you're just going to screw that until you feel it making contact. There we go. It's not going any further. Push the button. And that's me. Uh, obviously we have a, a locking ring here. Uh, if I put this down, um, 
there's no wobble or anything there just now but if I back the locking ring off it's there's a there's a fair bit of wobble going on there a fair bit of I've, I've not seen that since the old nemesis days but you can see the wobble in the switch there yeah I'll talk about that more at the end but that that is pretty much it unless I'll just show you the 18350 just screwing this all look at it look at the threading on that it, it, really cannot fault the thread the, the threading the threading on this at all uh, pop this on there we go it's firing away and we have one little 18350 so I'm back in 18650 configuration here and once again I have the HAR RTA on top I've got a 0 0.3 5 ohm coil in here just now and I have used builds as low as 0 0.2 on this and I had no issues with the button getting hot at all. Uh, it's brutally honest, being brutally honest. Um, I, I'm lucky I'm in a position where I've been doing this for 8 years now and I have seen many many mech mods come through my paws. Uh, this is not anything different that, that, that being that blunt it's nothing different it's nothing you have not seen before countless times it's as simple as that, that that's the bottom line i've seen many mech mods like this uh, with the same kind of switch uh hybrid top caps and so on and and they've all performed really well and this is no different in that this performs really well also where it sets itself apart is it does come with an 18350 tube as well as the 18650. Um, the threading on it is bang on. Uh, it's, seriously, the threading is as good as you can get, uh, or as good as I've come across. Uh, the it's nice looking. Uh, I, I like the locking ring. I mean, it's not reverse threaded or anything. And as long as you push the switch slap bang in the middle it fires every single time. And I have no issues with that at all. Uh, it is, that's the thing, uh, uh, and this is possibly unfair. Um, maybe I'm just a wee bit jaded after being in lockdown for so long, but um, the, the, I, I wish there was something that really set it apart from lots of other mech mods that are on the market and um, that's part of the problem with mech mods is that um, it's kind of hard to do something different outside the switch and the switch on this one really is something I've seen many many times before. In saying that on the positive note it, it it's a good mech, it is, it's, it's, I would be, I am quite happy vaping away with this all the time. It does have that thing that uh, a lot of you old mech users would be used to, is the, the wobble when you put the, the mod down, you get that, you know, it sways about like that. But uh, there's a simple solution for that, stop playing with the mod when it's lying on the table. Um, also, the locking ring is, it, it doesn't bind, I've not had any issues with binding or anything like that, and it's performed really well. I do feel, do I feel bad? Do I feel, I don't feel bad about saying it's like, lots of other mech tubes because that's a fact that's not just my opinion that's a fact once again the things that set it apart comes with an 18350 tube the threading is spot on and it's actually a flawless finish on it I, I can't fault the finish on it at all remember you're going to have to keep the brass contact at the bottom you'll have to keep that clean uh, I vaped as low as 0 0.2 with this and had no hot button issues uh, I do wish in the inside of the hybrid top cap they had a little insulator in there we've seen that in a few mechs now and I think that's a good safety bit of kit uh, and make sure your 510 is nice and long when you're putting a tank on this or a dripper whatever you use uh, but uh, thank you to Kaiser Mods for sending this on and thank you to you guys as always for watching and until next time bye for now